Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This is the sixth part and in this video, I'll talk about how to create partials and templates using Express. What if we have created our backend, our APIs and we want to manipulate those APIs. We, need, we don't need to use our CMD or open up the code for manipulating it. We must know that how to generate the views or the templates uh, that we can show our data on. So it is really helpful and really important for you to know if you want to become a server side developer. So uh, we ended up here in the last video, we created our uh, routes. Uh, this is our index route and this is our people's route. And here we are showing the uh, data from our people.json file within the data folder. All right. And for generating the templates using the Express, Express uh, provide us really good way to generate multiple templating engines. Like in this video, I'll use EJS templating engine. You can use other engines like handlebars uh, or whatever you want to use. So in order to install EJS, I will use NPM. So inside my terminal, uh, in my project, I will just write NPM install hyphen hyphen save and ejs and i will press enter and it will start downloading ejs library from the internet and that will help us in data binding and creating our templates uh, in our node application so we have installed our ejs if i go to package.json we can see that ejs 2.5.7 uh, is installed and it is added in our node underscore modules folder now in order to use ejs we must be able to define uh, the folder the directory of our views we know that inside the app directory we have the data we have the public and we have the routes directory what if we need to create a views directory uh, we can uh, create our structure whatever how we want uh, so i'll go with views folder and inside the views folder uh, I will create a new file index.ejs alright and in my index.js file rather than sending out the response with this hard-coded template this h1 element welcome to our site this is the message and we have the script rather than writing it we can render our view that is inside our views folder okay but before rendering it i want to let you know that uh, we need to first tell our express that what templating engine we are going to use so that templating engine is ejs so in order to define our templating engine we need to use up dot set within the single quotes we can write view engine comma and the templating engine in our case this is the ejs all right and then we need to define the directory of our view files we don't really require to define this uh, uh, if we don't uh, define this then our ejs will consider our express will consider that our views uh, files like the index.ejs is in the root directory like in uh, along with this uh, app folder and the node underscore module folder but we, we don't want to add our views uh, parallel to these folders instead we want to add our folders our views inside the views directory so in order to define our directory we need to set views comma and app slash views okay and it will tell our express that our all view files are inside views folder okay uh, so it's really good and up till now now i will come inside it i've created that index.ejs now in order to render our view um, that is right now empty uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy and paste a uh, uh, default testing template you can pause this video and you can just uh, copy and paste this is just uh, an html uh, template this is the style sheet a link to a bootstrap library bootstrap.min.css okay and after that uh, we have the body element inside it we are using the head nav and these are the classes of the bootstrap and we have the header and header has two links home and the people uh, that are navigating to the default route and it is navigating to the people's route and at the end i am <clears throat> just remove it uh, let's remove it as well 
and I need to load this script in order my Nodemon to work well and in order my uh, browser to reload whenever any change occur okay so uh, that's it uh, now let's go to our index and I'm going to comment this response dot send and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to render our view so inside the single code I just need to enter index and we have already defined that our views are inside views folder we don't need to navigate to app slash view slash index and we don't need to uh, add the dot egs along with this file name all right so let's go and run our application and see everything is working fine so I'm going to write npm start and press enter and it's going to uh, go to the script and it will uh, load up everything that is written inside our start script okay that is nodemon app slash app.js so let's go to our browser and this is the layout this is the home and this is the people uh, and this is what we have done we have not loaded our uh, page directly from here instead we have loaded our template response.index and inside our template we have this thing okay so uh, last thing in this particular video I want to show you that how to pass variables for data binding let's say we want to uh, send uh, some kind of variables from here or some other templates where we want to render our template from uh, we should know that how to render the views so how to send variables so I will write comma and we can send an array of objects or an object that contain uh, different values so let's say I want to send welcome message and that is welcome okay so in order to show the value of this property value message uh, let's go to our index.egs and inside it we can simply write after this we can write this percentage sign equals to and the name of our property and that is welcome message and we will end it with the percentage and greater than sign if I save this file and go to my browser and you can see that it has shown welcome sports a dash welcome and this welcome text is coming from the variable that we have passed from here okay and there is another way uh, like uh, if a variable that's value needed to be used in multiple views not just our index okay we don't need to send uh, this object again and again from multiple views uh, what we can do is we can create a global variable so how we can create a global variable that will be uh, that we can use uh, in multiple views uh, we can just go to our app.js file and we can create a global variable right here we can use app dot locals dot uh, and the name of variable let's say site title and sportsman all right so this is the name of variable I will go right here index dot rather than directly writing uh, something here I will just use the EJS way of displaying the value of our variable and I'll paste it okay let's save it and go to our browser and you can see that sportsman if I reload it sportsman dash welcome and these these tags are coming from the variable sportsman is coming from the global variable that we have defined in our app.js file and our welcome message is the variables value that we have sent from our index file so that's pretty much it for this video in the next video i'll talk about how to move further and using different things uh, that uh, we can uh, use from ejs that we can use if statements we can use loops uh, then i will talk about how to create partials for different pages uh, of this website like if i click on home it should show up a message uh, under 
uh, right here in the white blank area if i click on people rather than navigating to a different page it should load this load this content directly under this menu bar okay so let's wait for it thanks for watching if you like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment below if you have any question